Hey everyone, it's Jordan from Fish Keeping Made Easy and today I'm going to give you an update on my Nano Reef Tank. So this week I took a trip to Nessie's Lair in Dalgate Bay and for some stupid reason I never took much footage. This was the only footage I got of these awesome rays but what I was there for was some new corals, a new fish and some cleanup crew. So the first thing I got was a mushroom coral. So this rock was full of mushrooms and they do really well in my tank so I decided to pick these up. They were literally only £15, so again, Nessie's Lair has some great prices. Now, I also did get some GSP, a big rock full of them, again for like £15, but I can't get any footage of them right now because they're pretty closed up. And the fish I got was the Bangai Cardinal. I absolutely love these guys. They're super hardy, and a lot of them are now captive bred. They do well on their own, and they're pretty compatible with any other fish, especially things like clownfish. So I would highly recommend adding this fish to your collection. And finally, I just got a bunch of snails. So I got some Nasarius snails, I got some uh, turbo snails, just anything to help out in the tank. So an update on my marine tank, the fish are doing really well and so are most of the corals. Now we did move a couple of months ago again, so we have had issues with cyanobacteria, some hair algae and things like that, but I think the move just kind of upset the balance of the tank, but it seems like everything is getting back to normal now. So obviously the tank doesn't look that great right now with the full white light on. I was going to put the blues on but unfortunately I don't have the lens that I had but I will put them on later. But this is the furry mushroom that I got a couple of months ago. It is doing really well in my tank so that's why I decided to get more mushrooms. A lot of the other corals are doing pretty well as well so the hammer is doing really well. As always it's got about three heads now. You can see the Duncan coral at the back, it's not doing too well because the clowns keep picking at it all the time. And of course, the dominant leather toadstool coral in the background is doing great as always. But anyway, here's a little look at these corals under the blue light. So anyway, back to the new additions. So basically what I do is I always acclimate any fish, crustaceans or corals that I purchase. I'll normally acclimate them for anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes. Too long you end up with the temperature in the bucket dropping because there's obviously not a large volume of water in there. So basically what I'm trying to do here is match the salinity in the bucket with my actual aquarium. And once that's happened, I will take the fish uh, the snails and the corals and place them into my actual tank. You can see here how cool the Bangal Cardinal actually is. It looks so great from the top of the tank, from the side of the tank, and in general, it's just a great fish to have. I know some people think they're kind of boring because they just look black and white, but under the blue light or under some good lights, they look really good. So it's been about 40 minutes and the salinity with the water in the bucket and in the aquarium match, so it's now time to add the new additions into the aquarium. I use a reef-based glue to attach the GSP to the rock. Now, watching this footage back, it looks like I'm just chucking the snails in like I don't care, but trust me, it's because it's sped up, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. I'm just putting them in the top, just slightly above from where the camera is shooting from. So, as you'll see from the footage later on, no snails were harmed in this filming. Thank you. 
So as you can see, everyone's doing well. Now, I was slightly concerned when I seen the Bangal Cardinal kind of doing this at the bottom, but eventually he does kind of perk up and move on. As stated previously in the video, Bangai Cardinal go pretty well with other fish including clownfish, so I was very interested to see the response of my clownfish, as they've never had another free swimming fish like the Cardinal, so I do expect them to be a little bit standoffish and probably a little bit wary of the Cardinal, and I expect the Cardinal to be more or less the same with them. So I thought the reaction was pretty good, the response was pretty good as well, the clowns didn't seem overly aggressive or anything like that and the cardinal didn't seem too kind of bothered by them either. Um, since recording this video they've been kind of following each other around and it's pretty peaceful so thank you for watching, if you like this video please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.